Hello friends and family of YouTube. Today I have got a Microlite 29 RSWS that I want to show you. This is the first time I've ever got to see one in person. This is a brand new unit. So uh, I'm going to show it to you. You're going to get to see it new the same time I will. So uh, if you're new to my channel, hey, I don't work for the company that makes them or sells them. I just get out here and shoot some video. So I uh, want to show it to you from my perspective and uh, let you see it the same time I do. So let's start on the outside and then we'll go inside and let you see it from that point of view as well. All right, so we're going to start back here on the back side. And uh, man, check this out. They've already got you a two inch receiver hitch back here on the back. And they've got your uh, spare, spare tire back here on the back as well. And I'm over at Northgate RV, and that is over in uh, Ringo, Georgia, which is right outside Chattanooga. Hey, and you can find them on Facebook too, if you do Facebook. What's funny is this video will probably be watched 10, 12 years from now, and Facebook won't even be around anymore. All right, so uh, anyway, you've got a uh, backup camera on here, and you've also got a ladder. And uh, i tell you what, let me take you around the uh, other side and show you what's going on around there as well. All right, and this particular unit comes with a 50 amp uh, hookup. And it's also got a uh, cable satellite hookup out here as well. And you can see that on this slide, they've got a cover for your, uh, it's like an awning type cover. And you've also got, got your shower out here, outdoor shower. You've got one inside as well. So you're not gonna have to be out here doing it caveman style, but they've also got you some lights out here. And the good of that is, is when you're hooking up your sewer tanks, you've got a, got a good light out here to see what you're doing. And that's what they've got here is your sewer hookup. And they've also got electric stabilizer jacks on here as well. And you've got your city water connection right here and your holding tank connection. And you've got two, uh, two propane tanks, two batteries, and an electric tongue jack as well. And coming around here to the side, you've also got a solar hook up there. And it will hold up to a 20 amp uh, setup so you can keep your batteries charged up with a little bit of a portable solar setup. Let me show you inside this storage area. Man, check that out, that is huge. I bet Virgil could probably climb in there and take him a nap if he wanted to. Virgil, you reckon you could fit up in there if you wanted? I'm sure you could. <laughs> All right, so uh, anyway, you've got a slide on this side as well. Look there, you've got a, and I mentioned earlier that you did have an awning over those slides on the other side. The good of that awning over the slide is it helps keep those seals from getting uh, sun burning down on them also keeps a little bit of rainwater out as well. And I love these st step systems. They're very stable. And the good of that is, is for the elderly, you've got this handle up here. It makes it a lot easier and safer for them to get in and out and the young people as well. And again, this is a 29 RSWS. It's a Forest River product. It is a Flagstaff Micro Light. So let's go inside here and see what we got going on. Actually, this is a super light. I said it's a micro light, but this is a super light. Anyway, let's go inside here and see what we got. All right, so I'm gonna start right here facing the door and uh, show you all around the living room, dining room area. And as you can tell, man, they've got a nice little dinette here. And inside these little chairs, you've got a hiding space where you can put uh, put something in here if you want to hide from your, your wife, your kids, or your kids and wife hide it from you. And you've got a good size entertainment center here. You've got your TV and this um, got a sound bar right here. And also this system here is a CD or DVD player and it's Bluetooth capable. You can also hook your uh, phone in right there to the USB port and charge it up as well. And you got a faux fireplace down here that you can uh, turn that on and it does produce heat. You've also got a 110 outlet down here as well. Let's see what you got going on in here. You got a little bit of storage and that sits back about 20 inches deep or so and uh, probably about 14 inches in width. All right, and heading towards the rear of the camper, we've got a good size couch here and you've got um, 110 outlets on both sides and there are no USB ports that I see back there. That would have been a great place to put some. So anyway, you've got uh, you've got windows all the way around the back side here, and you've got plenty of storage above. Let me show you what you've got for storage here. 
And again, that sits back probably about 18, 16, 18 inches, something like that. And right here over this couch here, you've got an event where you can open that. Now there's not a fan in there, but that would make a good upgrade is get you a fan to where you can pull some cross breeze through here. And you see that you've got you a good sized little uh, couch here. It's uh, kind of a theater type seating. And uh, the good of where this couch is and this one is you, from both angles, you've got a great view of the TV and the fireplace. And also where you have a great view from is your kitchen area. If you were at the kitchen and you were trying to watch Days of Our Lives, you could still watch it from this kitchen while you're getting your work done. Let me go ahead and show you what's going on in this uh, freezer or fridge combo you got going on here. This is a little bit small, in my opinion, for this size of uh, a camper, but it is going to get your job done. I just wish that it was just a little bit bigger. And let me show you what you've got here for some drawers. These are about uh, probably six inches deep and got plenty of, plenty of room to put plenty of stuff in there. You've got four of them, one below the uh, oven here as well. Look at that, plenty of room in there. And you got a three burner cooktop on here as well. And you got a couple of smaller cabinets here. And it looks like we must have us a water filtration system somewhere in this unit. I have not found it, but uh, there's some evidence to let us know that it does exist. All right, so we go over here and show you the uh, faucet and sink area. And you see you got a couple of cabinet doors here and a drawer down below. And they've also got a neat little feature that I like. If you want a little more countertop space, look at there, you can pull that countertop out. It comes out a good uh, probably 30 inches, I would say. That would also be neat if you had you a little stool. You could put a bar stool on either side here and uh, either keep somebody company while they're busy working or maybe you want to sit there to eat. And you can have your two bowl sink here, stainless steel. You got you this movable wand. You can move that around, wash your dog, head of lettuce or your hands, whatever you need to. And let's see what we got in this microwave. Just a standard microwave with a rotating disc in here. And right here is our HVAC control. And we've also got our panel here, and this is gonna have all kinds of neat stuff. If you wanna pause that and read what all features you've got going on here, it'd be a good thing to do. All right, so let's go inside the bedroom, see what we got going on here. We're headed towards the very front of the camper. And you do have a drawer that pulls out here. You've got two 110 outlets on each side of the bed. And you do have some USB ports built in back there as well. Let's see what happens if we can lift up this bed here. I was able to lift that up with one hand and it stays up. It does have plenty of storage down below the bed as well. So you could store some off season clothes or maybe put you some uh, extra linens or whatever you want to in there. Don't remember if I mentioned it, but there is a drawer there that you can pull out. You got some storage over the bed as well. And right here facing away from the bed, you can mount you a uh, TV up there. You've got a uh, TV backer. That's what that little sticker is there. And of course you see the outlets where you can hook the TV at. And the one thing that I really like in here is you've got a air conditioner just for this bedroom only. And it is vented into the ceiling for the uh, HVAC, or rather for the air conditioning, I'm sorry. The heating is ducted into the floor, and I'll show you a little something about that in the living room here in just a moment. But I want to get over here and show you what's going on in this uh, cabinetry here in the master bedroom, show you how much storage you've got. You can see that you can hang you some clothes from that bar up above, and that hangs down about four foot, so you'd have plenty of room to put stuff underneath your clothes that are hanging. And you've also got some more storage over here as well. And we're headed right into the bathroom. The bathroom has two entry points. Let's go ahead in here and you can see there's one of your vents for your heating duct. Also in the bathroom to help it from getting too hot or too cold or whatever you need to get it done. And there's also an air conditioning vent up here in the ceiling as well. You got an extra head space area where you can stick your head up into that skylight and be able to move around. And if you're not familiar with this system here, that's a recirculating system, help keep you from having to waste a lot of water 
while you're waiting on the water to get warm. When you turn on the shower water and it's still cold, you can recirculate it until it gets hot enough for you to start taking your shower. All right, so here you've got a medicine cabinet sits back about four inches deep. Put a little bit of stuff in there. Pretty good size sink. It's probably one of the larger bathroom sinks that I have seen today. And I've done probably six videos. And you've got, got a standard plastic toilet here. And I will say this, you do have plenty of foot leg room, but you do not have much elbow space. So you are limited with that. I did not mention it, but it is definitely worth mentioning. You've got a good upgraded fan right here into the bathroom. And that will be good to keep air circulation and smells. All right, so let me show you a layout of the land. I am going to back up to where I am all the way as far back to the front of the RV as I can get. So I am all the way at the front of the RV looking towards the back and I will go towards the back and I'll turn around and show you the same thing, give you a layout of the land from the other direction. Now I have my back all the way to the back of the RV facing towards the front. You see this thing with having the opposing slides. This is a slide and that is a slide. That's what's referred to as opposing slides. So if you're wondering, can you do anything in here if the slides were in? And the answer to that is no. If these slides were in the inward position, you could not even cross path through right there. You could go to the bathroom, you could go to the bedroom, but that is as much as you can do. You could, uh, possibly set this table down to where you might get dance across through here if you were real slender you'd have to bring olive oil the woman from uh pie pie with you so that she could uh squeeze through there and get what you, whatever you might need it takes somebody skinny all right so one thing i would like to mention in here is if you was to get a fold-up table you can get them at walmart for about 45 bucks that would be a good thing to have in here you could move it around anywhere you needed or wanted to and be able to um, it might even help whoever is in the kitchen because in the kitchen you do not have a lot of counter space if somebody was sitting at the table and they were using computers or whatever and couldn't give up the space, at least with one of those fold-up tables, it would come in handy in here. It might look a little tacky, but it would come in handy. One thing else I talked about in here earlier was the fact that the floor vents, this is where your heating is at, is in the floor vents. So you would have to, you know, be concerned a little bit with some of the junk off of your shoes getting down in there, but more than likely people probably are not gonna take this out into the wilderness. I would say this unit would probably be more like a park model. So, you know, just like a home is gonna have a floor vent, so is this home here. And I have a little bonus for you because I almost forgot to show you this. We have an outside kitchen area, it's a little, uh kind of small but hey it's gonna serve its purpose well anyway they've got this to where it's shut and uh I'm, I'm not gonna force it but anyway you've got an outside refrigerator and you've got a little bit of cabinetry storage here for some foods got you an outlet there where you can still put you a blender or whatever you need to and this will fold out this has got a little uh little burner top set up on it so it's a, probably gonna be a two burner cooktop yep there we go all right and it's got the, uh, got the little assist system on there where you can do it one-handed. Not only was this a pretty neat unit uh, all the way around inside and out, but I tell you what, I really had a lot of fun over at Northgate RV. Hopefully soon I'll get a video showing you all of what they carry over there as well. Well, I don't work for the company that makes these or sell these. So, uh, you know, I just have fun showing you these videos and uh, help you shop for an RV while you're goofing off at work. Hey, I ain't gonna tell the boss if you ain't gonna tell him. But uh, hey, if you uh, think you might enjoy watching, I have another channel that uh, I show some of my vlogs and my travels and all that kind of stuff, a little bit of my personal life. So uh, that channel is the Dave and Muppy channel and down in the uh, show more description, there will be a link to my other channel. 
So, uh, hey, I'd love it if y'all would subscribe to both of them, this one and that one as well. Man, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me today. Y'all uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you liked about it, what you'd like to see different or see more of. Thanks again, folks. Y'all have a great day. See y'all soon. Bye-bye.